All right, we're on problem number 11 now. We'll get rid of some of the scratch work from the other problem. And let's go for it. And what are you seeing over here in equation? And I need to remove the grouping symbols. So let's talk about the first step. I'm going to get rid of this guy, and I'm going to get rid of that guy. Let's go for it. What do you get? 5z minus 4 times 3 is minus 12, and minus 4 times minus 2 is plus 8, plus 8z's. Uh, other side, you get 2 times 3 is 6z, and 2 times minus 2 is minus 4, plus 6. Now what I'm going to do, simplify each side all right, by combining like terms. 5z and 8z is 13z minus 12 equals, let's see, 6z and minus 4 plus 6 is plus 2. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to subtract 6z from both sides. What do you get? Let's see, 13, I'm sorry, yeah, 13 minus 6 is going to be 7z. Uh, let's see, minus 12. And then on the right side, what do you get? Well, 6z minus 6z is no z's, and I just get 2. Now I'm going to do add 12 to both sides. And what do you get? 7z equals 14. Now I'm going to divide both sides by the variables, numerical coefficient, and you're going to get z equals 2. All right, let's get the red pen out. See how we did. Z equals 2. Z equals 2. We're going to go to the next question. Thank you.